Someone asks, I remain confused as to why and when a doctor prescribes birth control versus hormone therapy. I can't seem to get an answer that addresses all the side effects, benefits, and risks in direct comparison. Are some symptoms made worse from the birth control pill? Got it. That is an, actually a really great question. Mm -hmm. Really good question. And I love all the nuances to the question as well. So I'm going to do my best to, to describe part of the thought process behind why that is an actual offer, you know, on the table during perimenopause um, versus, you know, starting menopause hormone therapy, because it's really, you know, it's, it's, again, it's so nuanced, but I'll, 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 I'll start with explaining the, path, the, phys, the pathophysiology. So right. perimenopause is when you have these wild, okay, so we have estrogen going up and coming down day 14, you know, it peaks and then progesterone starts to go up after. So, but during perimenopause, we have these wild fluctuations, right? In your hormones. And so the reason why the birth control pill can be offered is because those wild fluctuations um, are what cause some of the symptoms we have. And they also can cause menstrual irregularities, right? So where we start noticing that, oh my gosh, either I'm bleeding for, you know, 21 days, I had an anovulatory cycle. So I'm bleeding, you know, for, you know, several days, or I, I may, you know, notice that, you know, my periods are really, really heavy during this time. So the, what the birth control pill offers, number one, there is still a chance that you can get pregnant during this time. So it offers yeah. contraception. It offers a stabilization, right? Cause it ends up shutting down your ovaries and you just get a steady state of hormone. So those fluctuations that occur are being made more steady by the hormone in the low, low dose birth control pill. So the hormone in the low dose birth control pill is higher in amount than what's in hormone therapy, menopause hormone therapy, because it, what it does is it tells your ovaries to keep quiet, just, just, right. quiet, <laughs> just quiet yeah. down a minute. Um, I know you're having these fluctuations, but we're going to just, sh you know, cause you to calm down. So that's how that works. And then it essentially helps to regulate periods and, you know, it, it, it works in that way and it can be beneficial. Hormone therapy during this time really is purely to help with the symptoms that you're experiencing. So let's say, again, you're having these wild fluctuations, but you are having all the symptoms that are associated with hot flashes, night sweats, mood swings, or you're not even having, you know, the hot flashes and night sweats, you're just having mood symptoms. So adding estradiol to help with the symptom is, is that's, that's all it's going to do is going to help with the symptom. It's going to add some estrogen, some progesterone to help so that when you have the lows and the fluctuations, right, the lows are covered by a, an amount of hormone. Okay. All right. Does great. Sense? It does make sense. And, okay. um, th this question, that question also does come up frequently. And I, I think some women, um, get a little frustrated if they're recommended a birth control pill or they're recommended to maybe remain on the birth control pill that they're on. Um, I was one of those women who was told, you know, you can just stay on the pill and kind of ride this out. And I thought, well, I don't want to keep on the pill and not, you know, for whatever cockamamie reasons I had, but um, I became increasingly symptomatic and ended up, you know, enjoying the benefits of MHT after many years, though, it took a long time. I, I thought I was sort of muscling through and doing okay, but I wasn't hot flashing for many years. And once that started, it was it was no longer reasonable to to go without. Um, yeah. But I I that's that's very helpful. Thank you. And I also see women who you know they 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 are on the pill already and they are having symptoms, right? Mm -hmm. So then the question then becomes: Okay, if you are symptomatic while you're on the pill, you may benefit from transitioning to, you know, that really helps here. Yeah. yeah. So you can be on birth control pill, begin symptoms of perimenopause that the birth control pill is not addressing. And mm -hmm. so it may be time for a conversation about transitioning to MHT. Correct. Awesome. Thank you. How do we dose HRT for prevention purposes? CVD, OP, GSM, dementia, et cetera. I'm asking for patients who are not experiencing debilitating SX symptoms. Right. So that's a really great question. And you know what? I am looking forward to all the research that's going to be done to give <laughs> us guidelines 
<laughs> guidance on this because yeah. really, like there is not any you know piece of literature that shows studies that have shown or proven that this particular dose is going to help reduce the risk of okay. you know this you know so i think there's just a lot of uh research um that still needs to be done mm-hmm. and you know we are it's it's right now it's a very individual you know practitioner you know dependent you know, uh, a decision.